Hey guys, my name is Tomasz Walczak from Beyond the Time blog. Today I will show you the stabilization process of a hyperlapse shot inside After Effects. To be clear, I don't consider myself as an After Effects specialist, so there could be some more efficient ways to do some things. However, you guys always ask me for a post-production tutorial, so here it is. Let's open After Effects and import our sequence. To do that, always click on the first image, make sure that the JPEG sequence is checked, you can also check force alphabetical order checkbox and import the shot. Let's rename it. I will call it a boat lapse. Drag it to the new composition button. This is the shot I made during my Greek vacation. It's a handheld hyperlapse shot from a ferry to Zakynthos. As you see, it's very unstable, however it should be fine for stabilization. For hyperlapses, I always like to try warp stabilizer with default settings but I don't expect it to make a good job in this shot. Let's check the results. As you see, it's unusable. Delete the warp stabilizer and go to the tracker panel. We're gonna use stabilize motion feature. There aren't so many details to stabilize the rotation, so let's go just with a position. We're gonna track this little building because it was my reference point for hyperlapse. It's just a first pass, it doesn't have to be perfect. Here, Tracker has some problems. It's because the background and the foreground isn't that much different. To make it better, we can change the way it analyzes the footage. In Options, change Luminance to RGB. Now it's a little bit better. The tracking is over. Now apply the stabilization and let's see the results. The footage looks better, but it's still not very good. For sure, there are some rotation problems. Now we're gonna add a warp stabilizer. Pre-compose the layer. Make sure you move all the attributes to the new comp. And add a warp stabilizer. I will lower the smoothness for, let's say, 15%. Let's check the results. Again, it's better but not perfect. We still have some rotation issues. It's very common for a warp stabilizer. The second problem is that now the building on the island is not fixed, it moves. We're gonna fix it with another stabilized motion pass. And for the rotation, we will manually adjust that going frame by frame. Once again, pre-compose the layer moving all the attributes to the new comp. Go to the Stabilize Motion feature. Now, we want to be more precise, so we will start in the middle of the sequence, because we've got the most of details here. First, we will analyze backwards the footage, then go back to the middle and analyze forward. Because I moved the tracking point during the stabilization, I need to compensate that with position. Now, let's fix the rotation problems. It's quite an annoying issue because sometimes it's not visible frame by frame, but it's important to fix that. Sometimes it's good to zoom in to the side of the frame to see the rotation button. It's quite okay now. We get rid of the small rotation movement. Now the rotation is slow and consistent, so we will add an object to the composition 
parent our layer to the null object and now every adjustment we made to the null will appear on our shot. This way we don't destroy our previous rotation keyframes. That looks fine for me. Let's put it in 1080 comp and see what we've got. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share your hyperlapse chat in my Facebook group. All the links are below this video. See you next time.